Fight fans, fight fans, fight fans. This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Canelo Saul Alvarez. You know, the word is out that Team Alvarez has sent an offer over to Jaime Munguia. You know, the last thing we heard from Jaime was that Golovkin wanted a piece of him, that he wanted to face him as a, pro as a possible opponent in his next fight. Now we're hearing the same from Canelo Alvarez. You know, I wanted to avoid this because I heard that Canelo wanted this hours ago, as of yesterday. I just didn't believe it, but the more and more the sources keep rushing in, it seems like people want a piece of Jaime Munguia. And the only thing I can ask is, why? Why do you guys, why are you guys fighting over Jaime Munguia? He's a junior middleweight champion. Again, junior middleweight champion. Okay, he's the WBO's action packed fighter down there. He's a young guy. He's very, very inexperienced when it comes to fighting certain opposition. He's just taking his steps as a fighter. Why the fuck are you trying to fight him now? Why are you guys trying to take advantage of Jaime Munguia? That's what I don't understand. Look. The guy, I don't think that he's scared to fight anyone. I just know that these guys shouldn't even really be uh, offering him offers just to make him a sacrificial lamb, okay? Because this is what it's sounding like. And the more I hear about now it's Canelo, I thought Canelo had more integrity than that, but obviously not because he could fight fucking Amir Khan knowing Amir Khan is, is has a jaw like this fucking... Um, glass I got here you know so people used to bash me because I used to go after Canelo I always respected his skills as a fighter but who gives a fuck if you're protected on the most high who cares how good you are because at the end of the day the shit you're doing and the shit or your team is allowing you to get away with who cares how good you are? Yeah, it sucks you didn't get the Kovalev fight, but then you're going to pick Jaime Munguia? I thought you were better than that. I thought Golovkin was better than that. When Canelo chose Amir Khan as his particular or his opponent for that particular time frame in 2016, people. Huh? I was like, okay. He's fighting a smaller guy with no chin. But then guess what? Golovkin did the same thing, right? He did the same exact thing. He wanted Kell Brook, or he accepted Kell Brook coming up from uh, 147, mind you, just like Amir Khan did, to fight at 160. And he paid a price by getting his fucking face broke. Right? So, at that point, you're like, okay, these guys are beating, these bigger guys are beating up on smaller fighters. When you had guys like Eris Landilada wanting and capping and, you know, uh, proclaiming that, hey, I'll fight Gennady Golovkin if nobody else wants to fight him. Now, you can argue that he never did anything about it, but then Abel Sanchez sat out of, said out of his own mouth that Eris Landi Lara wasn't even a draw, so they didn't even want that fight. So they declined that fight. So what are we going to think when you have guys like Gennady Golovkin and Canelo Alvarez fighting over the same fucking opponent that's smaller than them? What are we going to say about that? What can we say about that? One fucking word. Pathetic. That's it. It's a pathetic notion 
to want to fight someone that is not even in your weight class. And these, look, and Canelo's a guy that he's even contemplating going to 175. So, you know, you have confidence in yourself to go to 175. So why the fuck are you fighting somebody or even offering somebody to fight at 154? You sound like a fucking bully to me. And it's ridiculous. Like I said, it's pathetic. And Golovkin, same fucking shit. I don't give these guys credit because they're going after Jaime Munguia, and I don't know why. Why is it? Because he's a DAZN fighter? They're fighting over Jaime Munguia like uh, Jamal Charlo and Gennady Golovkin was fighting over Steve Rolls. It's ridiculous, man. This shit's stupid. Like, these dudes, you got, you got Andrade up there. Nobody wants to fuck with him. You know why Canelo don't want to fuck with Andrade? Because Andrade is a southpaw and he has a similar style like Lada. The only difference is at this point, I think Andrade or Andrade has a chip on his shoulder. I think he's more willing to engage than Lara or Lada was. Okay? But Lada played it smart. He boxed Canelo and he gave him fucking fits. He got a split decision win over Lada, and he never returned. So maybe that might be the reason why he don't want to fuck with Andre. But as far as Jamal Charlo, look. Why are... See, here's the thing. I hear channels, and they're saying Canelo has no reason to duck Jamal Charlo. He doesn't. He has no reason to duck Jamal Charlo. But here's the deal. Why if do they know they have no reason? See, it's up to these teams. You don't know what's going on behind the scenes with these guys when it comes to certain fights and certain fighters. Okay? You don't know the risk that they feel that they bring to the table. I know that I feel the WBC did that shit because the WBC wanted certain monies from certain sanctioning bodies. And, they, and if, if you want more money, you make more champions. You make more champions, you get more sanctioning fees. You get more sanctioning fees, you get more money. That's what I feel the WBC did. But when you compare that shit to guys that are already there, already highly ranked, like Canelo Alvarez, the franchise champion, I guess... That motherfucker feels that he can just pick up and just fight anyone he wants. Okay, so they're giving him protection that this dude don't need. Okay, he doesn't need the protection. He never did. But who gives a shit because he's protected? We don't care how good he is at that time or at that point unless you're a fan of his. Okay, so Canelo calling out Jaime Mugia, leave fucking Jaime Mugia alone, Okay. Let Jaime Mugia develop as a fighter. He's a young kid, for Christ's sake. You motherfuckers are late 20s, or late 30s, and y'all want to fuck with somebody that is, what, early 20s? Oh. Right? Okay. And I'm like, okay, what the hell? What? Why are y'all doing that? Mm -hmm. And it's almost like to me, like, Jaime, you know you don't, you don't see this guy as a threat. So if you don't see him as a threat, obviously not so. You're going to put him in the ring to make a guinea pig out of him. That's not right. Don't do that to a guy that young, that green, that inexperienced, that's not ready. Okay? Money isn't everything. You know why it isn't? Because Gennady Golovkin and the cash cow Canelo Alvarez already fucking have enough money. They shouldn't go after this kid. And it's wrong. And if Oscar De La Hoya uh, uh, obliges that, he's fucking wrong too. And he knows for certain, certain reasons on so many levels why he should never allow this fight to even get made. Because they're just picking this guy because they know he's green, he's inexperienced. I thought the best supposed to fucking fight the best. The best in the division is the champion, the other champion. Who's the other champion? Demetrius Andrade. Okay. And if you have no problem fighting Jamal Charlo, fight fucking Jamal Charlo. What's the problem? Okay, you can't get Sergey Kovalev. Fine. Pick 
Callum fucking Smith at 168. Your champion there also, right, Canelo? Verdad? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I don't understand what is going on with the WBC, what's going on with these fighters, and it's like, to me, they're trying to just make it popular to be cherry pickers. And it's not right. I don't, I, and I don't understand it. It, we, it used to be, I could understand the Deontay Wilder, Joshua thing to a certain degree. I would buy that some days of the week. Not every day, but some days. But this shit is ridiculous. When you got Demetrius Andre that fights on the zone, that's the WBO middleweight champion of the world. Then you got Canelo Alvarez is also the IBF and the WBO champion of the world on top of a franchise championship title holding belt. Why can't he fight Andre? I just find it so strange, man. And so both of these guys... To counterpunch this in a nutshell, Canelo Alvarez, if this is true, he should be fucking ashamed of himself. And Gennady Golovkin, if he's also trying to follow that cab, I don't know which motherfucker wanted to fight Jaime Munguia first. I know Gennady Golovkin wanted to fight him or he was in one of those options before, you know, last year when Canelo popped dirty. But at the end of the day, both of you guys that are supposed to be champions, supposed to be elite fighters at the middleweight division, you guys are going after a fucking guy that's not even in your weight class, a guy that you know that's young and green. Sure, he might be mean and, 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 and thinks he's ready, but he's not ready for that particular step, and it's not right. And again, money doesn't fucking matter. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves, pretty much. Ashamed of yourselves. For one and fight, Jaime Munguia. Yeah, he's a big guy and this and that together. But you know, damn well, this guy is not ready for the likes of you guys. So, if you respect the fans, if you respect the sport, fight somebody in your own fucking weight class. Because you've already fought each other enough. Fight someone that's worth a while in your own weight class. And that's my counterpunch on that. You guys tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys can counterpunch. Peace.